Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, first things first, hope you're all having a wonderful start to your week. And uh, we've got a lot of exciting stuff to get through. In this video, a couple hours ago, they revealed, you know, the details for the upcoming GT Goku and GT Vegeta uh, for this year's Golden Week Dual Dokkan Fest on both Global and JP, which is still insane to me. And on top of that, we got two new side units, a, uh, let's see, GT Go Bros, Gohan and Goten, as well as a GT Trunks and Goten. And we're finally getting a token Awakening for the STR Metal Rildo, who, I mean, it kind of feels like I forgot about him for the longest time, but now he's finally back, finally has that Awakening, so we're definitely going to check that out as well. But uh, before we talk about any details, we're obviously going to start by watching the animations for all four of the new units. So uh, let me just quickly pause my music here. And let's start with, uh, I guess, the Vegeta animations first. Yeah, here we go. So we're starting with Trunks and Goten and then into the Vegeta. Let me just turn up the volume a little bit. And... Enjoy. Alright, so I was a little bit confused about why it was buffering, because it never does that. Like, maybe it's the video, maybe it's my McDonald's internet, I, I don't really know. But <laughs> either way, just forget about the, the buffering for a second. You guys can still see the full animation, essentially. And um, man, it is clean. It is clean, especially the active skill. Like, the super attack is good, right? Like, Vegeta's super attack is good, but it's the active skill that really makes this unit for me, man. I mean, they're both, like, amazing units, too. So don't get me wrong. It's not just the animations I care about, but from an animation perspective, this has got to be one of, also the Goku too. These two have got to be two of the best active skill animations in the game. But obviously you haven't seen the Goku yet, so uh, let's pop over there and check that out. Hopefully this one doesn't buffer as much. I'm not really sure what's going on to be honest, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Here we go. This is for the GT Goku as well as the uh, Go bros. Oh my god, once again, I'm sorry about the buffering. I don't know why it's happening. I can't explain it. My internet's fine. It always is is fast, so I don't know. I don't know what it is, but forget about that. That active skill is so beautiful, man. Both these active skills are so beautiful. Oh, also the, the Gohan and Goten, like super wholesome too, right? Like I, I really like that, but 
Wow. Wow. Like both the regular supers, you know, they're they're good animations. I don't want to, you know, go too crazy about them though, because like they're fine, they're fine. But it's the active skills, man, that really just make these guys must haves. <laughs> but yo, you know what? I, I spent a lot of time on these animations. I'm sure you guys have your own opinions. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them. But uh, I'm impressed, man, especially with the active skills, especially with those those clean as active skills but moving on let's uh talk about what they what these guys do and i'm also getting tired of seeing the buffering all the time like it's really really bothering me so uh yeah we're gonna jump over to this uh twit longer um you know page courtesy of cody the dumbass on uh twitter because the homie goresh actually is i believe sleeping uh that's the only explanation he has because he hasn't posted in a couple hours which is kind of strange for him but i'm assuming he is just you know busy so um yeah cody has gone ahead and given us the translations for the real though the gohan and goten um the trunks and goten as well as of course the goku and vegeta so uh let me just make this a little bit bigger actually for you guys oh that's not gonna work okay let's just keep it at that we're gonna keep it at that and uh, we're gonna start with the real though because i've been waiting for this guy's awakening for many years and uh yeah this is a good place to start so leader skill as str types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent oh let me just turn on some music real quick it's a little bit too quiet a little bit too quiet all right there we go so uh yeah uh str types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent super attack raises attack greatly raises defense for one turn causes supreme damage and lowers the enemy's attack Passive is defense plus 120% at the start of the turn. Attack plus 120% when launching a super attack. And then key plus 2, defense plus 40% to GT bosses. Category allies. New category, of course. And uh, the existence of this category, obviously, makes a lot of people think that we're getting a new baby somewhere, sometime in the near future. Maybe not for this celebration, but probably soon, just given the fact that this category now exists. And uh, an additional attack and defense plus 60%, attacks become super effective, high chance to stun the attacked enemy for 2 turns when there is a GT hero category enemy, recovers 5% HP if you receive an attack uh, at the end of the turn. So this guy is going to be amazing against GT hero, that's for sure. You know, uh, attacks effective, high chance to stun for 2 turns, additional attack and defense plus 60%, but um, yeah, even without that, even without that, he's still going to be a solid, solid unit. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy he has an Awakening now, man. Because he wasn't really too usable before the Awakening. But I knew, I knew, one day, he was going to get an Awakening. It was going to be awesome. And he is going to be awesome against GT Hero. He's going to be okay. He's going to be good against other enemies. But obviously, he's a unit that's meant to be uh, run against GT Hero enemies, right? And uh, links are big bad bosses, Terrace of Conquest, Metamorphosis, GT, Nightmare, Fear, and Faith. And I believe Fierce Battle as well. I think he forgot about Fierce Battle because obviously there's only six links there. So uh, I think also Fierce Battle on top of that. And categories are Artificial Life Forms, Terrifying Conquerors, and GT Bosses. So there you go. That is the real though. Uh, very, very solid Awakening. And then we have the Super AGL Trunks and Goten. Leader skill is GT Hero, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises attack and defense, stacking infinitely, supreme damage. And then passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, additional attack, uh, attack plus 40% when launching a super attack. Launches an additional attack with a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And then key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40% to all. Goku's family category allies, and key plus 3 attack and defense plus 40% to all Vegeta's family category allies. Um, so kind of similar in, in, in you know a lot of ways to the Trunks, the Super Saiyan, Saiyan Trunks we just got with the Int Broly banner. And uh, yeah, I love like the crazy support, I love the additional super, um, also stacking attack and defense too, that's going to be fun. You know, so if you're launching like two to three supers, well, not on average, but like I'd say every other turn you get like two to three supers, they're going to be stacking pretty quickly, so they're going to be very tanky and longer events for sure. 
And uh, he forgot about the links and categories here, but if we pop over to his Twitter page, he does have it. So for Trunks of Go 10, links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Speedy Retribution, GT, and Fierce Battle. And categories are GT Hero, Hybrid Saiyan, Sibling Spawn, and Joined Forces. So there you go. And then for uh, the Gohan and Goten, the Go Bros, leader skill is GT Hero, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, just like the Trunks and Goten. Uh, super attack greatly raises, a, uh, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and the passive is attack and defense plus 150% when launching a super attack, launches an additional attack with a medium chance to become a super attack, and then key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40% to all GT Hero category allies. So, um, on paper, it seems like the Trunks and Goten is actually going to be the superior unit. Mainly because, you know, support for two categories, additional 40% attack when launching a super, and also infinitely stacking attack and defense as opposed to just greatly raising one time. Although greatly raising, of course, is a higher multiplier, but, um, you know, for longer events, obviously, these guys will be much more, uh, you know, tanky and also just better offensively, too. But... Uh, I guess these guys do lead the new category, so that's what they've got going for them. And they both look very good. They both look very good. Like, I'm all for this, like, whole trend of support units. Like, very, very good support units that can also do good damage and also get great defense. So, uh, yeah, these guys are looking great, too. Now let's move on to the uh, main event, the Vegeta and the Goku. So starting with the Vegeta, leader skill is GT Hero Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, or Vegeta's Family Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%. Super Attack greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage to the enemy, and greatly lowers defense. And then passive is attack plus 180%, defense plus 120%. Randomly changes one type of key sphere to rainbow key spheres and an additional attack and defense plus 10% per key sphere obtained when launching a super attack and an additional attack plus 50% per other GT hero category allies attacking in the same turn. And links are golden warrior, prodigy. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, something got stuck in my throat. <laughs> prodigy, super saiyan, royal lineage, GT, prepare for battle, and fierce battle. And categories are GT Hero, uh, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyan, Worthy Rivals, uh, Prodigal Warrior, and Great Ape Power. So that is the Vegeta, and dude, um, he's looking pretty- oh, oh, also active skill, my bad. Active skill, true final flash attack, condition, launch a super attack more than four times in battle. I'm assuming it's four or more, so after you launch four, you can activate the active skill. I know a lot of people are not gonna love this. Again, I, I know, I know a lot of people are really, really gonna be uh, pissed by this condition because it's not the best. It, it's really not the best. Uh, it's gonna take a while for, for the most part, to get this active skill off. Even though the animation is beautiful, even though it's you know gonna hit really hard. Um, in shorter events, you'll probably you'll probably never see it. Yeah, launch a super attack f more than four times in battle. Um, he doesn't get you know an additional super or anything like that, like Broly does on his passive. So you're basically relying on the hidden potential to get those additional supers. And uh, yeah, it, it could take a long time to get the get the active skill off. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, it, it massively increases attack. Temporarily, it causes ultimate damage like a lot of other active uh, skill attacks out there. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of okay to me, it's kind of like the icing on the cake. Okay, it's kind of like the cherry on top, even because without the active skill, this Vegeta is very, very good, man. Just look at it. Look at, look at his boosts on his passive. Okay, he's getting a 180% attack, 120% defense just to start, and then he's changing. Key spheres to rainbow, or at least one type of key sphere to rainbow, which is going to help a lot with getting more key spheres, which is good because he's a nuker. He's getting attack and defense plus 10% per uh, key sphere obtained when launching a super. And then he's also getting an additional attack plus 50% per other GT hero category allies attacking in the same turn. So if you're running a full GT hero rotation or just a full GT hero team, 
he's going to be getting an additional attack plus 100% on top of the 180%, on top of the 10% attack and defense for every key sphere. So this guy's going to hit super hard, like super, super hard, and also get a very impressive amount of defense, especially because he's greatly raising attack and defense for one turn. So, you know, like you can argue that like for the most part, you don't really need, you don't really need the uh, active skill. It's just like a nice bonus every once in a while for longer events. And I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Do I wish it was an easier condition to satisfy? Yes, absolutely. I don't like this kind of um, active skill condition or transformation condition or anything like that, but I, th I think it's okay. I, th I think it's okay that it's not going to be like a super common thing, but uh, I would have preferred something better, obviously. Now, moving on to the Goku. Uh, it's, uh, let's see, Fizz, Super Saiyan Goku, GT, Leader Skill, GT Hero, Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Events plus 170%, or Goku's Family Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Events plus 150%. Uh, super attack, Kamehameha, greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn, causes immense- oh, hold on. Um, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's the same as the Vegeta. I was confused for a second. It's all good. Greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. I think before I said they, he greatly raises attack and defense, right? So, uh, it's actually greatly attack and then just regular for defense, so like something like 30% for defense, 50% for attack, okay? And same thing for the Goku, immense damage, greatly lowers defense, and uh, for his passive, attack plus 180%, defense plus 120%, just like Vegeta, randomly changes one type of key sphere to rainbow, an additional attack plus 20% per key sphere obtained when launching a super attack, and then an additional defense plus 50% per other GT hero category allies attacking the same turn. So, unlike Vegeta, he's not getting any defense for key spheres, but he's getting 10% more attack per key sphere obtained. And then for the last part of his passive, he's getting up to an additional 100% defense um, with you know two other GT hero category allies on the rotation. So it worked a little bit differently, but overall. They're both going to hit super hard. They're both going to be quite tanky. And uh, I just I just think the design is very good with the exception of the active skill, which uh, also is, yeah, launches in a super attack four or more times and uh, massively increases attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage, which is great. It's just they're not going to see it a ton, unfortunately. Uh, links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, JT, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. The categories are GT Hero, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Turtle School, and Create a Power. So, there it is, guys. GT Goku, GT Vegeta coming to Global and JP. Uh, we got the Gohan and Goten. We got the Super, uh, the Trunks and Goten as well. And also the STR Metal Rildo, Dokkan Awakening. Uh, that's all there is to it. Did I go over the links for Gohan and Goten? I don't think I did. Okay, Gohan and Goten, links. Saiyan Warrior Race on the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, GT, and Fierce Battle. The categories are GT Hero, uh, Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, and Joined Forces. And there you have it, guys. Ah, that is today's video. Like I said, a lot of stuff to get through, but we did get through it. And, um, so obviously now, that were like done the video, it decided to stop buffering. Seriously, like the animation's not buffering anymore. The video's not buffering anymore, but it, that's frustrating. Anyways, <laughs> guys, let me know in the comments what you think about all this stuff. Do you think Goku and Vegeta are good? Did they meet your expectations? How do you feel about the animations? All that, all still buffering. Okay, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, once we get that data download, once we get a release date, I think it's going to be like two days or so, maybe a day and a half, something like that, then uh, I'll definitely be back. Uh, of course, we're going to be doing a stream. Obviously, we're going to be doing a stream for the summon, so stay tuned for that. But uh, for now, that's all i got to say. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Cody for the translations. And, uh, yeah, if you're, you know, if you... Oh, what did I say again? Oh, as you... I'm not blanking right now, what's going on? It's early guys, it's very early. My brain's still trying to wake up, you know? So, 
forgive me. But uh, <laughs> if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.